how would you encourage them for those quick wins that will get them to that place of feeling like, okay, I feel like this is much more enjoyable. I'm starting to hear from God. I'm starting to hang out with God and wanting to hang out with him more. Yeah. I would say the, the starting point is one, pick something short. So I really typically encourage people to start with either Philippians, Ephesians, or Second Timothy. Mm, I love All that. three of those books are under 20 minutes in length, as far as if you're just reading out loud at a normal rate of speed, under 20 minutes. And so you can read them in one sitting. And all three of those have lots of verses in there that we've heard out of context our whole lives. And so I say, when you're reading the whole of those three books, you, especially Second Timothy. Second Timothy is one of the most unfamiliar books of the Bible. And then you're yeah. like, oh, so that's where he says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. Yeah. Oh, that's where he says all scripture is God breathed. Oh, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and Second Timothy is actually the shortest of those three books. And, and so to take that, I feel like because you've got all these little pieces that sound familiar that you get to, it's like putting flesh on a skeleton mm -hmm. you already know. So good. it's enjoyable for people. And then... And then I would say, take, you know, now, I mean, this coming up Monday is April 1st. I mean, take, take, take whatever date it is when you watch this video and commit the next 30 days. Don't try to study the book. Don't try to analyze it. Don't try to journal about it. Don't try to get everything, all the details. Just take 30 days and read that book out loud at a normal rate of speed with the emotion. I tell people, read the Bible like you're reading Curious George to a five-year-old and watch <laughs> what happens. It changes I love everything. That. I love and that. so take it. And, and I really do encourage people, especially during this kind of foundation phase, yeah. foundation framing finish work, yeah. for, the, for this first 30 days, read in a physical Bible. And I'm, I, I mean, I've got the Bible app on my phone and I love the technology and the software and all the different Bible study websites, but there is nothing more distracting than holding something in your hand that can do a thousand things. Yeah, that's good. And there is nothing that will help you focus more mm. than holding something in your hand that can only do one. That's good. Right? Yeah. So plus, if you want to focus and you want to remember it, our brains love it when we see the something in our brain from a memory standpoint, our brains love patterns. And so Ezekiel 4, which just is what fell open right here, it's always going to be right there. Yeah. Right? Yes. When I put this down and I shake it up, <laughs> it's still there. Right? And yes. I think that, that, that when you read it out loud and you see it and you're focused more because you're not as distracted and you've repeated it 30 times in 30 days, you'll have huge portions mm -hmm. of that book down word for word without ever trying just the same way that how many you know you've probably in the last week been in your car and a song comes on the radio that you haven't heard in 10 years yeah and you're singing along by line two yeah right? so true. you just heard it over and over again and it was in the background and sometimes you were actually listening to it sometimes you were singing along sometimes you weren't but you experience it so many times that you just now know it yeah and I think that some that that can happen more with the Bible than people think it can because they've just taken it in differently yeah. than their brain's wired. Yeah. And so if you want a quick win, I would say, I mean, even take, even if you're not willing to devote a whole month, take two weeks and read Philippians out loud in a physical Bible every day for two weeks. Then read Ephesians every day for two weeks. Then read Second Timothy every day for two weeks. And then you'll start to see some pieces come together that then maybe take something longer, like one of the gospels that might yeah. take two hours to read. And instead of, since you can't read the whole thing in one sitting, if you don't have time, read for 20 minutes. Yeah. And you know, the gospel of John takes a little less than two hours. So if I read for 20 minutes, I'm going to finish it every six days. But if I read a chapter a day, which is yeah. what I was told all growing up sure, to read sure. a chapter a day, it's 21 chapters. So it's yeah. going to take me three weeks. Yeah. If I read it three times in a week, in, I mean, three times in three weeks or four times in three weeks, instead of once over the course of three weeks, I'm going to understand it better, enjoy it yeah. more. I mean, all, all of that. So, 